Welcome to the Tick Optimization Toolkit Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to use the new 1.3 update features, scaling and presets. This tutorial assumes that you know the basics of the Tick Optimization Toolkit plugin. If not, you can find the link to the previous tutorials in the description. The easiest way to scale down CPU usage is to use TOT Tick Distance Scale Console Variable. When we set it to 0.6 for example, more of the AI characters stop ticking. We can use R view distance scale to call them like this. If you need finer control than this, you can configure optimization levels on your target components. But first let's fix one issue from our original AI tutorial. We have two AI characters using the same settings on their target components, but each one has to be set by hand. To resolve this, let's create a target component preset using a blueprint. Create a new blueprint with tick opt toolkit target component as a base class. Configure your target component blueprint to match the ones in our AI characters. Finally replace the original target components with the blueprint one. We can now configure optimization levels for both our AI characters in one place. Let's open the target component blueprint again. In the advanced section you'll find new optimization levels property. Add a new optimization level and set the single mid zone size to match our 0.6 scale. This way AI characters will preserve the base sphere radius across optimization levels, and scale only the second zone. While we're at it, let's disable the influence of tot tick distance scale variable on this component. Now, we can test our work by changing the tot tick optimization level variable while the game is running. But how to use these variables to scale your project for different devices? One way is to create a default device profiles.ini file in the config folder in your project. Let's use the base device profiles.ini file from the engine for reference. Find and copy profiles of your choice. In this example, these will be some Android ones. Now, set console variable values to best suit those profiles. Now we can test it in the editor, but remember to restart it for the new configuration to take effect. You can force a device profile using the DP override console variable. There's a visible issue with our configuration. We forgot to create a second optimization level. Let's do it now. The first level must match the 0.8 distance scale, while the second one must match 0.6. We can try this one more time. And now it works as expected. You can find additional scaling console variables in the description and the documentation. Thank you for watching.